Welcome back to the Diamond K Show. Of course, you can follow me on all social media at the Diamond K Show at Radio on Fire. So in Maryland, in person, early voting begins tomorrow. Uh, so you definitely want to do that and uh, make that happen. Uh, I'm going to early vote as well. Uh, and so a fire, a fire was set in a Boston ballot box, drop box. This is uh, some surveillance. This image was provided by the Boston Police Department, and it shows a man approaching a ballot box outside of the Boston Public Library early this morning, and it's in downtown Boston. Now, election officials say that the fire was set at the ballot drop box, holding more than 120 ballots in what appears to have been a deliberate attack. Police in Boston say that an arson investigation is underway. And the person shown in this surveillance image is a person of interest. There were 122 ballots inside of the box when it was emptied this morning. 87 of them were still legible and able to be processed. Uh, the box was last emptied Saturday at 2.30 p.m. Yeah, I, this, is, this is just disgraceful behavior. If you're one of those people that doesn't believe in voting, right? You're one of those people that, that does not uh, value elections, democratic elections, then don't participate. But how dare you try to stop folks who do want to participate? The FBI said in a statement, announcing their investigation that it is a top priority of our offices to help maintain the integrity of the election process in Massachusetts by aggressively enforcing federal election laws. He will be caught. And they're going to make an example out of you, playboy. I'm telling you. Voters can go online to see whether their ballot was processed. So if you did put your ballot in this box, you can check online and see whether or not uh, it was able to have been recovered. And if not, uh, those who use that drop box between Saturday afternoon and 4 a.m. on Sunday and can't confirm the status of their ballots online should contact the Boston Elections Department immediately. And uh, the voters whose ballots were affected can either vote in person or by a replacement ballot that would be mailed to them. Uh, but it, it's cutting it close. It's cutting it close. Uh, if those voters don't submit a new ballot, their original ballots will be hand counted to the extent if possible. But you, you definitely, you know, there's 80 some that were able to be salvaged. You definitely need to check that out. And uh, and see what the what the status of that um, just just I mean, just disrespectful, disgusted. And this is the thing. They are going to catch him. Trust me, they're going to catch you. Why would he do this? Does not make sense. Does not make sense at all. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok at the Diamond K show at radio on fire. Of course, we are a listener-supported internet talk, radio, and podcast network streaming from our production facilities in Baltimore and Atlanta. We are able to broadcast programs like the Diamond K Show because of our listeners and amazing partners. Amazing partners like D Lifestyle Secrets. Are you a baby boomer? Were you born between 1946 and 1964? 700. 700, 71 million Americans are baby boomers. And as you continue to get older, 
Uh, baby boomers want to stay mobile and experience as few aches and pains as possible. DLifestyleSecrets.com helps you do just that. DLifestyle Secrets provides a blueprint to reduce and or eliminate joint pain by teaching its members to communicate naturally with their bodies. DLifestyleSecrets.com gives baby boomers step-by-step -step videos, natural recipes, and most importantly, the motivation to re-energize themselves naturally. Visit DLifestyleSecrets.com to join this active community of baby boomers. So I will be back here tomorrow, 7 p.m., with the program, talking about the top news stories of the day. Uh, daily, 7 p.m., RadioFire.com, the Diamond K Show .com. Of course, however you're listening to this, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow.